What's going on, viewers from the internet? I'm Variety Gamer 95 back with some more Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. Okay, so last time we completed Chapter 4, for real this time, and we have added Vivian to our party. So this time, ho 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 ho, I have been looking forward to this. Yes, there are a lot of preparations that I want to make before pressing onward. Okay, so first off, I have enough shine sprays to upgrade Vivian. Uh, she's the only one we can upgrade, really. So Vivian will master fire routine, so attack all foes with fire. All right, let's power her up. So now Vivian has 20 HP. So she has 15, 20, and then 30. Another email. Oh yeah, now it's from Bobober. Yes, hello to you. I am Bobober. I have been unable to forget that savory hot dog flavor. My taste buds are sweating in anticipation of your next spicy visit. By the way, have you heard? Dry bouquets are not flowers that have withered and gone dry. They're actually flowers that have had the clocks of their lives adjusted to take just a little slower than normal flowers. I hope you'll take the time to stop and smell these delicate flowers. In fact, I would like you to come visit me with the above edged item. Yours in spiciness. Bob over. Alright. So, if I didn't go to the trouble center earlier, this is the point where I would have introduced it. But, after clearing chapter 4, there are two troubles that, particular troubles that have opened up. One of them is anonymous, and the other is Zesty. Seek your legendary book. I want you to go find the legendary cookbook for me. It's in a pretty scary place, and there's no way an old gal like me could get it alone. Please go to my house in Rookport Square for details. Let's see. So, I already got the cookbook. So, I don't have to worry about doing, going to the trouble doing it myself. There are There is a wealth of recipes that have opened up just by getting the cookbook. And, oh boy, it's quite an extensive list. So now I can finally say goodbye to uh, full storage. Hey, look at this. Super Luigi Book 1. Super popular. Now on sale. Let's replace the mushroom for now. God, I am actually running out of space. I can literally hold only three more items. Okay, so I do know of a couple of combinations off the top of my head. But not a lot. Wait, wait, hold on. What did he say? I've never seen that text. Okay, no problem. I'll store for you. No charge, fella. And if you try to click store... Ooh, I'm sorry, fella, but I can't store anything else. Oh, it's just a matter of fact, huh? Anyway, um... So here is what I want to do. I want to take out... Where is it? Here we go. I want to take out a maple syrup. And I have room for another item. Okay. I'm going to take out a maple syrup. So I'm going to go ahead and give the cookbook to Zesty. And I'm going to show you guys a couple of recipes. Here we go. Hey! You took over trouble? Well, it's really important, so listen up, Mr. Klutz! Ages ago, there was this great legendary chef named Mater Delish. Rumor has it, you instantly become a better chef by reading his book. Unfortunately, it's an old book that's hard to find. Stores don't carry it. But I've recently heard that someone who used the name of Creepy Steeple had a copy. There are many secret rooms of Creepy Steeple, so I was motoring there somewhere. I just had to get my hands on that book and read it. Help me out, Stumblebum. So, then? Want me to cook something for you, Cozy Crush a lot? Not right now. Oh, what a complete letdown. I thought I could put my skills to the test. Did you find the cookbook? There you go, lady. Ah! That's it! That's the book we were delish! Give it here, quick! Ha! Huh, I... I see! Aha! Oh? Did she discover something? Even Mario's wondering what's going on here. So once, twice. I've got it now! 
Just glaze a mushroom with honey syrup for a yummy honey shroom. Brilliant! Now I can use recipes that require two ingredients. Now, th now that's some book! Talk about effective! Thanks, Mr. Staggers. Take this as your reward. A honey shroom, a dessert made by Zest Tea. Pushes 5 HP and 5 FP. Now I can use recipes that require two ingredients. Just ask me any time. I'm really going to put my soul to it and cook with vengeance from this day on. You solved the trouble. So, um, about this honey shroom. Zest Tea tells us this, but it's not added to our recipe list. We actually have to make it manually for it to count. So, that being said, I can actually knock out two recipes at once since I'm here. There's a reason I'm saving all these mushrooms and honey, honey syrups. That's because of the cookbook here. See, and even if I didn't have that, like, uh, honey syrup. Even if I didn't have the honey syrup, I mean, I could just buy it right here. No biggie. Wow, there's actually quite a bit of recipes I could make. Okay, this is going to take a while. So, let's see if I... Let's see how I want to handle this, huh? Let's see. So, when you give her one item, she will ask if you want to use another ingredient. If you want to just cook with one, say no. Or if you change your mind, huh? What do you want to do? Just cook that. I'll pick another. Never mind. So I gave her a honey syrup. <laughs> That'll cook up your honey syrup and mushroom. Yes. Let's get that added to the recipe list. So, you know, if you know the first Paper Mario, we can get a honey shroom, a maple shroom, jelly shroom, honey, jelly, super, maple super, and the ultra. Of course, all that. So that's the honey shroom. Let's see here. Now, if you try to cook with two of the same ingredient... Hey, hey! That's the same as what you just gave me! She's something different! Right? So, let's give her a super shroom and a maple syrup. <coughs> Alright. A maple super. A dessert made by Zesty. Replenishes 10 HP and 10 FP. Alright, very nice. That's two items in one. Okay, so... Just give me a moment here. I want to pick out... A couple of different items. So I'm going to withdraw... I'm going to withdraw the Ultra Shroom... And the Jam and Jelly. Right here. So this... Will get us the Jelly Ultra that I was talking about before. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Alright, so the Gem and Jelly and the Ultra Shroom. Gem and Jelly Ultra Shroom. Yes, the order does not matter. Just as long as the ingredients are correct. Okay, so here it is, guys. The Jelly Ultra, a dessert made by Zesty. Flushes 50 HP and 50 FP. Nice, that's an awesome recovery item. I'm definitely going to put that in storage and save it for when I really need it. Ah, it feels so good to finally clear out my uh, backlog of items, am I right? Well, it's going to be even easier once I get, get halfway through the Pit of 100 Trials. So, I'm going to store the Jelly Ultra. Uh, sure. Uh, hold, hold the phone, hold the phone. So, I want to get a Mushroom and Cake Bix here. And before I forget, how about I store the two life shrooms that I have for right now, just to make things a little bit easier. Let's go ahead and store those. Yeah, this is quite the inventory miniature puzzle we got going on, wouldn't you guys say? Let's see. Hold on, I'm checking something. Oh, here we go. So, remember the dry bouquet that I got from Bob Ober? How about we pair that with a mushroom? Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Okay. So, let's go ahead and cook up the mushroom and the dried bouquet. Okay. So, the dried bouquet and the mushroom. 
Yes. All right, here we go. Space food. Space food made by Zesty. Plus just 5 HP. So, it, this item actually has a hidden effect. It has a 50% chance of giving you a status called allergic. Allergic is depicted as the no symbol. And it prevents the afflicted from being affected by any status changes when it is active. Positive or negative. So, you can't use power lift. You can't get poison. can't get mini. None of that. It's, I mean, if this is your first opportunity to get space food, and it's functionally equivalent to a mushroom outside of battle as well. So, I don't know, man. Allergic is also a an extremely underused status condition. There are only a handful of enemies that can give you the status that I can that I can name off the top of my head. And the funny thing is, they both don't show up till the end of the game. I'm serious. Hold on, I think you can get a Volt- Yeah, you get a Volt Shroom here, okay. So I want to get a Volt Shroom. And you guys remember that gold bar that I got a while back? Well, let's go ahead and finally put this to use. So let's get the gold bar. Nope. That's nine items, wow. So let's sell the gold bar back for 100 coins. Nice. Maybe I could do that trick with the gold bar times three one of these days, huh? Now, the reason I'm doing this is because I want to get a lot of cake mix. So, ten. Go ahead and get another ten. Go ahead and get another ten. Yeah, I'm going to keep doing this till I have 40. There we go. Oh, come on, man. Well, I'm not doing anything important right now, so the audio cutting out on the right isn't that big of a deal, I guess. So let's go ahead and get two cake mixes. Okay. Oh, crap. I actually want to get a third one. Hold on. Come on. So she's going to hold on to the Piantas for us. Actually, do I have another Ultra Shroom? Or was that my only one? I need to store two Super Shrooms here. Let's store the Thunder Rage. I'm not going to use it. Let's see here. Do I have another Ultra Shroom? No. Uh, that kind of sucks. There is a recipe that I, I, you can make with Ultra Shroom and a Cake Mix. And it's pretty interesting. It's an item called the Shroom Crepe. It restores 30 HP at 20 FP. So what I want to get now is a... I didn't get a third cake mix. That's what I was... Ah! I saw Scatterbrain. Okay. So since I'm in the area, let's just get a Fire Flower. Damn, there's a lot of recipes that I can make. My god. Yeah, see, you see what I mean about the cookbook? For my items, the cookbook opens you up, opens you up to a wealth of recipes. Nope, nothing else we want to store. So let's just go ahead and grab some more cake mix. Okay, so I believe it is two more that I want to get. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and knock them all at once, huh? Really going to be cleaning up my inventory with these uh, four recipes I'm about to cook up. All right. So let's give her the cake mix and the honey syrup. Yes. All right. So that will give us honey candy. Candy made by Zesty. Plus is 20 FP. That's it. The only thing we could give her too. Let's give her the cake mix and the fire flower. Yes. Alright, so that combination will give us a fire pop. 
Candy made by ZST. Pushes 20 FP. It doesn't seem to take away 1 HP anymore like it did in the first game. So, that's a plus. So next, let's give her the Cake Bix. And the Volt Shroom. I, I believe they'll give us something. Let's see here. Let's see, the first Paper Mario, they gave us the Electro Pop. But, is that the case for this game? Let's see here. Yes, here we go. The Electro Pop. Candy made by ZST. Flesh is 15 FP. And finally, let's give her the Cake Mix and the Mushroom. Cake Mix and Mushroom, yes. Here we go. Shroom Cake, a cake made by Zesty. Flesh is 10 HP at 10 FP. Nice. And that's just about all I want to go over with cooking for right now. Yeah, we got a lot of good items going on here. And we are going to want as many of these items as possible for Chapter 5. Because Chapter 5 is going to be quite a doozy. Damn, bro. Y really? Oh my god. Okay. I mean, I also have these in coupons just running away in my inventory. My storage as well. Uh... Uh, you know what? There actually is one more recipe that I can show off real quick. And we just need to give her this golden leaf. Okay, so... Let's go ahead and give this tea the golden leaf. Right here. Nope. So cook up the golden leaf. Alright, here we go here. Let's see here. Oh, hello. Sorry to keep you waiting. Looks like it came out perfect. Yum. Go on. Take it, Stompy. Zest tea. Tea brewed by Zest tea. Refreshes 20 FP. Zest tea, huh? <laughs> That's her name, after all. So, the last bit of preparation that I want to make in this video, anyway, is going to the Trouble Center and taking on the Anonymous Trouble. Right over here. Just give me a second. Hold on. Do I have... Uh... Do I have... Yes, I do. Okay. So, no. No, 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 no. Take on the anonymous one. I'm after an elusive badge. You must explain a person. Meet me on the roof of Zesty's house in Roqueport Square. This poster is anonymous. This may be dangerous. Want to take this trouble? Yes. Alright, so we need to go to Zesty's rooftop. Alright, there we go. There's the audio back. Okay. At least I think. Like, I don't know what's up with the recording right now, but. It's really beyond my control. At least I'm doing anything important right this second, you know. And quite frankly, this is getting this is getting old. These were the exact audio troubles I was dealing with previously. Hey, at least we got a new friend. Yeah, I'm Torque. Don't think for a second. Hold on. Yeah, I'm Torque. Don't th don't for a second think this dude's telling the whole story. The only reason I landed my rig was because he got down and his easy bag. And what happens? He's in it for one second before he completely totals it. Idiot! I'm not letting this dip out of my sight to repay you the 5,000 quarter repair costs. That's Luigi's pal, Torque. And here he's like a totally excellent mechanic. According to Mechanics Weekly, that Torque's bike could basically do anything. He seems ticked off, though. I wonder what happened. That's your brother, Luby. Wait, no. I mean, uh, Lufa. No, I mean Luigi. If you wonder what Luigi's up to, I'm sure he'd tell you. All I gotta do is ask. In fact, it kinda looks like he's dying to tell you stuff, so you gotta rap with him. You know what? I think she actually said that once before. Okay, come on. Well, I guess it's not gonna matter. You guys aren't gonna see it. You'll see momentarily. So the anonymous poster here is... I want Gubella out. The anonymous poster here is none other than Miss Mouse. That's Miss Mouse, the thief. Humph. She just have to exotic places to find rare badges. 
She's only like the biggest lord I've ever met in my entire life. It's weird that she's the item's request for the super secret badge. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Mustache Cutie. I'm the one with the trouble. Hmm, I'm a pretty lucky girl to have a strappy fellow like you take all my trouble. Well, let me get right to it, okay? I've done all I can to find this one elusive badge, but I failed at every turn. The badge is hidden in Hooktail's lair, if that much I'm sure. I went to check the room after I heard you defeated Hooktail, but nothing. I did hear rumors that to find this badge, one has to use the wind. I have no idea what that means, though. Anyway, look for it, okay, sweetie? So, in order to complete this trouble, we have to go to Hooktail Castle. All the way back to where we fought the big dragon itself. <sighs> More backtracking. I'll be back. On second thought, I won't be back. Because there's actually one other bit of preparation that I completely forgot. So, we can actually get the Spike Shield badge at long last. And I would like to have some badge points for it. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to quit first attack here. Alright. So this is where we get a spike shield. Okay. Here it is, guys. Spike shield. Being Mario damage proof with jumping on spiky foes. It's a pretty good ability. They did nerf it a little because it needs three badge points down instead of two. But also keep in mind, uh, Spike Shield will only affect Mario. But there's actually something else about. Oh, that was close. There was uh, there's something else about Spike Shield that uh, that's not mentioned. It actually allows Mario to safely hammer bristles. And. <laughs> Believe it or not, guys, that was something that I found out by complete accident. But that's a story for another time. Okay, now I'll be back. Uh, well, you know what first attack would let me do, guys? Let's see here. Bam! You're no longer a problem, good sir. Ha-ha! <laughs> Take that, you bastard! Oh, there's another shortcut that we can take, I believe. Let's see here. Never mind, I'm mistaken. Alright, here we are. This is where Hooktail was. So, just keep going straight in the middle of the room. We can see that there's something invisible here. See? So we need to use Flurry to blow this away. And lo and behold, there's our chest. Attack fix B. The badge Miss Mouse is looking for. Take it to her. As for what Gumbella has to say. This is Hooktail's lair. Yup, the highest chamber in the castle. Now, where's Hooktail, huh? Hmm. You know, maybe we should glad it's not around at the moment. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, sure. Nice snarky comment for a sassy lassie, huh? Uh, hold the phone. Um, you know what? I actually re remember how you're supposed to get over there. So, you see that little block? Let's have Mario right on top of it. There! That's right! That's how you get up here! All that for a star piece, huh? Wow, um... I can't believe I didn't remember that. That should have been obvious, Joseph. By the way, with Yushiki, the plant paddle is no longer necessary. Alright, here we are. Let's hand the badge over to Miss Mouse. <laughs> that face. Does it mean you found the badge? Here you go, lady. Well, this is certainly the badge that I was looking for. Oh my, yes! <laughs> now, my sweet, promise to hear me out without getting mad. You see, I was the one who hid that badge. It was a little game of mine. I have to apologize, but I knew you would find it, my hands of cheese hunk. You may have even more badge finding skill than I do. Hmm, I just thought of something. Perhaps I should just travel with you from now on. Because, <laughs> I'm sure to find lots of badges that way, don't you think? 
Now about the reward. Let's see. Take this badge that you managed to find, but I expect you to lead me to more. Attack effects B. Change the sound effects of Mario's attacks. Now let me formally state that you will now enjoy the pleasure of my company. Miss Mouse, join your party. She is an optional party member. She could be either the 6th or 7th member to join Mario's party, depending on how you play out Chapter 5. Miss Mouse's abilities, a primer. Press, press X and Miss Mouse will step on any items or objects hidden nearby. There doesn't seem to be anything in this area, dearie. When you press X, I'll step around and tell you if there are any items nearby. Just like so. There's something right near here, sweetie. If there's something nearby, I'll let you know, like I did just now. In battle, I can attack enemies with my love slap. I can also help you out by using a kiss thief move to steal enemies' items. You solved the trouble. So Miss Mouse comes to us starting with 15 HP. And attack effects B, fittingly enough, is a mouse's squeak. Because that's what Miss Mouse is. She's a squeak or a little mouser. But I don't have a use for this. So I'm going to go ahead and sell it off. Let's see here. So let's go ahead and sell. Attack fix B. <laughs> right in front of Miss Mouse, no less. Okay. So let's see if he got anything else. He got a second soft stomp. Wow, that could be nice. It was head rattle. Here is a second damage dodge. All right. If I could afford it, then I could actually get this and decrease damage even further. All right. I would go for a little bit. The video is probably going to be much shorter. So I could talk about Miss Mouse in the next video, okay? Let's see. So let's slap a kiss thief. By the way, um, if you're looking to steal an enemy's item, this is your only way of doing this. Love Slap is an attack that pierces defense, but, uh, you'll see next time, alright? So I gotta make a preparations off camera, and next time on Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door, how about I finally go over the Pit of 100 Trials, or at least half of the Pit of 100 Trials? Pit of 50 Trials? I don't know. See you then.